serving others has been important to you uh, throughout your life. This ceremony was better late than never. It's not unusual for World War II veterans not to have received these medals because back in the day, back in that day, uh, these medals were first issued as ribbons. William Wilburn enlisted in the Army straight out of high school. He served in occupied Germany during World War II. He was a mechanic in the 614 Tank Destroyer Battalion. In Germany, we had to hide from Germans. The memories still vivid and the war stories never get old. We had to hide from them. We couldn't go out in a place and after dark. Everybody likes to be appreciated, but the sacrifices those guys made, we'll never understand. Uh, sleeping in the crawl space beneath a tank and, and eating little sea rations this big and freezing cold at night, the sacrifices they made for, for freedom. Uh, nobody understands but them. Something William's grown children don't understand, why their father never talked about his service. His son writes in a blog, quote, one of the neat things that happens when you move old people around is you start going through stuff and discovering things. In doing so, I found my dad's old army paperwork, enlistment and discharge papers included. His father had a long list of decorations, citations and medals and was honorably discharged in 1946. Sir, it's my honor to award you the third medal here, which is the Army of Occupation of Germany. The AUSA and Salute Colorado brought his family together to make sure he got all of his well-deserved medals. We're running out of our World War II veterans to be able to recognize one in person. Is, is really a blessing. It's incredibly rewarding. It, it feels very good. Bringing this tough Army veteran to tears. It, it makes me very happy to know someone still appreciates what I did. <laughs> His service may not have been well known, but it will never be forgotten. Deborah Takahara, Fox 31.